Hey everybody, hope that you're doing well. Hope that you're staying warm and making it through all the snow. I am upstairs in my family room right now and it is Tuesday night. I guess it took me a second to remember because I had my my second shingle shot. Say that fast, second shingle shot. Uh, and so Debbie is off doing the online Bible study and I thought I would do the devotion for tomorrow tonight. So we are in John chapter 21, the last chapter of John. And the disciples have all gone off fishing and they were fishing at night and it was typical for fishermen to be fishing at night because what could you do then when you caught the fish? You could sell the fish early that next morning so it was super, super fresh. So they're fishing and they don't catch anything. And then they look at the land and Jesus tells them to cast on the other side, and they don't recognize it's Jesus until John says to Peter, Hey, Peter, it's Jesus. And, and Peter dives in the water and swims over to Jesus. And we read beginning in verse 9. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place. It's, Jesus had a fire going for them with fish laid out on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish. 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. I think it's just a great story that Jesus is preparing the disciples. He is spending time with them. We don't know what the conversation was, but I really believe it was a great conversation between Jesus and the disciples. And people try to guess, well, what does the number 153 really represent? Honestly, nobody knows. But most of them were fishermen. And fishermen were probably doing what fishermen do when they caught fish. They counted them. They counted them so they could sell them the next day, and they were probably doing what they always would do, counting the fish. But I think it's just really great to see, and just, just to stop for a moment, and recognize how Jesus is sitting with the disciples, getting the fire going, getting the fish ready, getting the meal ready, and then he can sit with them, and they could eat with him, and they could talk. Just a thought. When's the last time you sat and ate with Jesus, and Jesus with you? I'd encourage you, whatever your situation is, can you take the time, just take a deep breath, have a cup of coffee with Jesus, cup of tea, bowl of cereal, have a donut with Jesus. I don't care what it is, but can you make some time just to sit? or stand, or lay, or whatever you're doing, and be with Jesus. Can you do that? So, so important for us in our world. Take the time, be with Jesus. Have a great night. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay warm, and God bless you.